What's up, YouTube? Dazwa Beats back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, is always welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right. Today, what I'm doing? Uh, my last video that I dropped, someone was asking. I showed y'all how to take a, a loop and chop it up and create a drum program with it, and then you can use it. But what I didn't show you is how to save it as a drum program so you can use it in another pro in another tr um, in another project. All right. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to just show you how to save the drum program. All right. So we're just going to go over a little bit of what the last video is. If you didn't see it, I'm not going to go over it fully, but just a little bit. All right. If you want to see the full thing, go check the last video and then you can see how to do it. All right. So let's go. Let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, so now we inside the MPC. All right, so what you want to do is you drag the loop in any loop that like a drum break or something. You drag it in. Once it's in there, this is what the loop sound like. All right, so what you want to do now, you go to your um, sample editor. Um, you don't need the whole thing because it loops. So you just need like the wherever the first two claps is at. So we'll play it. One, two, and then we'll stop it right here. So what we want to do is um, extract this one. All right. Or we can do discard, whichever one we can discard or we could um, extract. So let's do it. We do the um, extract. All right. So this is our new sample now. All right. So remember, whatever you want to do, you want to make sure you're at instead of trim, you want to make sure you're at chop. And when you at chop, you want to change the chop to you want to change the threshold. All right. So once you have threshold, now you see each. And you can play around with it if you want to. You can move this so it can be here. And then this one would be that. All right. So that's it. Now, what you want to do is hold shift, convert. Once you convert it, you'll go to um, a new program and then do it on the, on the inside the software. This is where you'll go right here. I just did it on the hardware. All right. Now, once you have that, we can always come back home up here. And then once we're at home, make sure you're on your drum program. Hit this drop down menu. Open up the loop right here. All right. We can always change the name or let's see, rename it. Let's just say uh, whatever the sample is. Uh, just say sample. sample chop right all right so what you want to do now to save it what you would do is you'll come right here right up at the hamburger menu go to um, file save current program right save current program let's name it right here uh, sample whatever sample chops drum you can name it whatever you want to name it all right test Let's do a test. Make it a test. All right. Then you find wherever you want to save it at on your on your computer. You can save it wherever. If you want to save it on a flash drive, if you wherever you want to save it, you can save it there. All right. So I'll just save it on the desktop for now, just so we can um, find it real fast. All right. Desktop, new folder, uh, drum kit. Do it. Test. Save. All right. That part is done. So if we go home now, let's create a new project. File new project. Don't save. All right. So now we are in the drum program right here, right? Program one. What we'll do is we'll come over here to the drop down and find wherever we saved it. Remember, we saved it on the desktop. So we'll come to the drop down right here. Go to find our desktop right here. 
and we named it uh what was what did we name it uh i forgot what i named it already drum kit right there drum kit and here go the test right here so we'll we can double click it and it brings it right in right there all right let's just create something just because All right, remember the last thing that, that you always need to do is go to your program edit, which is here, and take it off of um, mono and put it on poly. That way everything can play. So let, let me show you what happened. If you put, if I put, if I don't do that, we put this here, listen what happened. All right, you hear everything play? Now if I didn't change it and leave it on mono, listen now. You hear that? You don't hear it. You don't hear this bottom one. Listen again. All right. Now, if I change it, listen to Polly. Listen, you can hear everything now. All right. So that's why you want to change it from mono to Polly. All right. Let's go, man. Catch you in the next one. Peace.